So this one's called, is the government hiding an AI supercomputer down in Antarctica or have they found one there? Like an ancient AI super being. And uh, this, obviously everybody, I, I know Addy, everybody loves Antarctica conspiracies. There's so much about it, the Captain Bird and the Nazis and like the Americans and the British and like the Antarctica Treaty and you've got all the flat earthers all going about the, the ice wall and all that kind of stuff. Also, I, I don't believe that, but there's there's so much. I, I know that I believe all of them, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even sure I believe this, but it's, for me, it, it's definitely plausible. So I'm, I think about it as in, like, I stay in Scotland, and I mind hearing, like, a good few years ago, they were, uh, like, when technology was really taking off, what they were going to do was, like, it's like the servers. So even if you imagine, like, your PC, if you have a PC or a laptop at home, it heats up when you use it. Like, even your mobile phone, it heats up when you use it. So, like, what they were doing was they were testing it. This was years ago, so I think they actually do it now. I'm sure China's doing it as well. So what they were doing, because the, the ocean off the, like, Orkney or Shetland it was, uh, was freezing cold. They were submerging the servers into the ocean. And what that was doing was it was costing less energy to cool them. And it was keeping them cooled at constant temperature without, like, can they, like, get fans running and stuff all the time. So, like, it seems to be quite a thing. So, like, in my mind, if you were going to build an AI supercomputer with massive, like, data centers and servers and uh, like like beyond any kind of scale we've ever seen where would you do it you would do it in the coldest place in the world in the most isolated place in the world and that's antarctica so if you think about it if they've dug tunnels down under the ice and stuff it's got to be a constant cold temperature they could be building like an, an AI supercomputer and doing it there because you've got the secrecy, like the secrecy and you've got like the temperature that you need. It would be the best place in the world to do something like that. And then if you think of the way AI's kind of taken off and even just digital, like mobile phones and the internet and all that kind of stuff, it's just exploded. So... If they did have an agenda about trying to govern, like, the world with, like, one government and everything be, like, digital and run by AI, so, like, your digital IDs and uh, your digital money and, like, a digital, basically, voting thing and a digital government and, basically, like, the, the metaverse, like, a digital life, basically, again that's where you would do it. It's like secure, it's isolated. It's got the, like the, the, the temperature, the cold temperature, and it would allow you to do it. And let's be honest, like if there was a data center about here, if this all turned out to be true and people were like going to attack data centers and servers and all that, like you could do it if it was just getting in your country and wherever. But if it's away down in Antarctica, it's, there's no many people that can get there off their, their own accord. Certainly not a lot of people. So it's like completely secure. The only, pers the only people that could attack that would be a different country. But then you've got that treaty where it's all the countries or most of the countries in the world are all working together. And you've had crazy visits, like the, the Pope has been uh, and then, like, the, the Orthodox Pope, basically, like, like the Russian Pope or whatever it is. Then there's, like, uh, I think the, da the Dalai Lama had went down there as well. And there's you've had world leaders, all different world leaders visit and stuff like that. It's quite a strange, like, a strange setup. I think that's why people are fascinated by this kind of conspiracy. 
like there's something going on down there that we didn't know about. Even it goes back to like World War Two and the Nazis supposedly having a base there and Admiral Byrd, the American Admiral, getting sent down to, to find it and destroy it and all the stories that came out for him being there, like them getting attacked and him saying that they were he went into a different world with super intelligent beings and all this. So <laughs> this for me it could all be related to to different kind of theories I've heard, like if the if the Earth was a Dyson sphere, like the other video that was on about, then it would be built by super intelligent beings who would live probably inside the Earth, and they could be technological, so that there could have already been a super AI computer there, and we found it, and that's where we were getting the technology and stuff, eh? stuff like that. But again, I'd, I'd be really interested to to hear what you think. Do you think it's plausible? Do you think it's a cool idea? Just let me know what you think. Just uh, leave a comment or that. Well, that's that for this one anyway. So I'll see you soon.